The city of Davis, like so many other cities across the state, is working to tackle the issue of homelessness. They are proposing a pilot daytime center, but before city council takes a final vote on this, they turn to their community for input. It's tense Lena Howland sat in on their community meeting this afternoon. She joins us live in Davis tonight. Lena. Well, this city owned property right behind us here is where city leaders are hoping to open up a daytime respite center for those experiencing homelessness right here in the community of Davis. You'll notice, though, if we take just a few steps over, this location is surrounded by homes and many of these neighbors living next door have some serious concerns about inviting the homeless into their neighborhoods. If approved, we're told this center at the city's Public Works Corporation yard would be open seven days a week from seven in the morning until four in the afternoon. And it's meant to provide a safe, temperature controlled, secure and welcoming space where people can access basic resources like a hot shower, restrooms, laundry facilities, food, storage lockers and more. We're told the city also plans to hire on case managers to work with those that are willing to come up with a plan to find permanent housing. Now, many neighbors who showed up to this afternoon's community meeting voiced their concerns about this location and its proximity to a school, parks and elderly neighbors. They also brought up concerns about loitering before and after hours leading to leading to some security concerns. Please think this out thoughtfully and do not hurt the community members that are already there like my mom who had a stroke or my grandma who's just trying to recover and be in peace. Like, please don't affect those people. And all the little kids on our block, don't, please, please don't put them in danger. And we want to demonstrate that the city can run this facility well and in a safe manner so that the near neighbors don't have adverse impacts. It's uh, located on city property and we're going to have full-time staff and part-time staff so that we are accountable for what happens. Final approval of this project is set to happen at the next city council meeting about a week and a half from right now. If approved, the city wants to get this open and ready to go by the beginning of next year. Back to you.